right? And for your audience, maybe most people are aware of the petrodollar, where basically um, we had, we, the U.S., had an agreement with Saudi where, you know, they would export their oil to us. We would export national security to them. That was kind of broadly known as the petrodollar. That formal agreement ended, I think, last year, in the last two years. It it didn't form. Yes, there was. It expired. It expired, but it's still it's not. Still, yes, yes, right. But it, when we think about. It was a 50 year agreement, which I think is more to the point how long it's been going on. Right. How long it's been going on. But when we think about where the future, what the future looks like, it's not only exporting of the raw energy of the commodity. Right. But now you can, for the first time ever, you can export the digital token or the digital compute. So, again, back to the raw ingredients of, you know, turning nat gas into Bitcoin, realizing the most for your compute power. You know, in Saudi at Humane, they're basically taking their own energy, turning it into digital compute tokens that then they can export around the world. I personally, I think you guys would agree, like I don't want to buy compute tokens from Saudi. I don't want to import compute tokens from another country. I think it is very important that we in the U.S. sustain our own infrastructure, right?